Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jenny B and welcome back to Skyrim. Now, when we left off, um, we were at Helgen. We were trying to leave Helgen after the dragon attack. And now we are on our way to Riverwood where we are supposed to find this blacksmith, which is, I think, the guy's uncle that we were traveling with. The, um, he was an imperial and his uncle lives in Riverwood and you're supposed to talk to him and he's supposed to give you equipment. And he tells you you need to go to see the Jarl in Whiterun. Now, the only reason I'm giving you a recap this dramatic is because I did record the trip to Riverwood. I did record my trip to Whiterun, and I did record me talking to the Jarl. However, something happened to the recording. I apparently was recording it in 360. I meant to have it in 1080, and so now I am... Fixed it. I fixed it to where it's 1080 now, so there should not be any more problems. Um, but right now you will see that I am in Dawnstar, and I am actually talking to a Khajiit uh, caravan. And these caravans, they'll be found around Skyrim most of the time in either Whiterun, I think they're outside of Whiterun sometimes, Dawnstar, and Solitude. Um, those are the three main places you'll see them. The easiest one to get all of their stuff from, though, is Dawnstar. This is where I can get a lot of gold and a lot of random equipment really quickly. And I'm about to show you how. What I am doing right now is I'm selling her a bunch of stuff that I've already taken from her, obviously, because I have 13,000, almost 14,000 gold. And, um... I hope that you will a horse is... You don't have to have a horse, but it's a lot quicker with a horse. Trust me. What you do is you go down this little pathway right here, go past the inn, and you go past... I, I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I was checking the camera. I don't know. But over here to the side, there's a mine, and there's some rocks right here, and you want to go between the rocks. I'll show you. Um, I'm walking really slow right now because it says you are carrying too much. It's because I've already done this a couple of times before now. But there's a lot of equipment in here. There's armor. There's random just ingot. There's whatever she, whatever gold she had left. It's there. They have gems, potions, a lot of stuff. So go ahead and take everything as long as you have a horse. If you do not have a horse, then you just want to take like the gold, the potions, and possibly the ingots if you want to. But I had a horse, which means I can go ahead and load up all of her stuff over and over again. And then I can fast travel to Whiterun or wherever I want to and sell it. Um, so that is what I'm doing right now. And I just do this over and over again. And I'll show you how you can quickly get her to respawn her stuff. Uh, quick save it. Kill her. Or, or hurt her. And then load your previous save. Like right before you injured whoever. By the way, you move more slowly when you have your weapon drawn. Okay. But now whenever you talk to her, her stuff will be there and she will have 70... Not 70. 750 gold. But you can go to your stuff and go ahead and sell stuff that you have. You'll be getting it back anyways. Because whatever you sell her, it's going into her chest. But go ahead and sell her stuff if you want to. Because that's going to increase your speech ability. So, just go ahead and buy and sell whatever you want to do, because you're going to get back every penny, every item, whatever. But, I mean, you just do this over and over again as long as you have the patience to do so. And I might fast forward here, or I might just go ahead and cut to where I go ahead and fast travel back to White Run.
Okay, so I have sold a little bit of my stuff to the um, smithing people in the front of Whiterun, but now I am going to Bellathor's store, and I'm going to try to sell off some of the random stuff that they won't buy from me at the um, smithing. So the same principle works here, like whenever you want to sell a lot of stuff, but he only has 750 gold. Um, Right now I'm just seeing what all he has. Do come back. Help. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. And you want to go in here. And she's already got a um, alchemy table right there. So that's pretty good. Um, I just went ahead and said, can I use your alchemy lab? Just to be polite. I don't know if you are if you have to or if you can just go ahead and use it free willy-nilly. But I asked. So. Um, and then see what she has for sell. Or you can, um, like I did, you can waste your gold if you want to. I was going to make it right back, so I went ahead and said, hey, can you train me in alchemy? Because you're going to need alchemy in order to do what I am about to do. Go ahead and level up. The reason I'm waiting it out till it gets done counting is because one time it kind of glitched up and it wouldn't stop making that sound. And I had to bring up a different save, like the previous save, and then I had to redo it. But you go here, go ahead, and you might want to go ahead and get up to like the third power. I'll show you. Again, like I'm, I'm going to walk you through this step by step for anybody that does not know how to do this. This has been around ever since it came out for Xbox and PlayStation 3 forever ago. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knows all the secrets, everyone knows all the chests, the secret chests and everything. But this is just how I do it. I will go ahead and fast forward just a little bit because this kind of gets repetitive. Um, there are some ingredients that you're going to want to get. Um, there's two different fish that you're going to need. I cannot pronounce the names. I'm not even going to try to. I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Okay, so there are going to be a few ingredients that you need, and I am going to go ahead and show them to you. Um, it's going to be salt pile, snowberries, 
Um, Hagraven, Hagraven claw, that, that thing. Um, the, that fish, you're gonna need that fish, um, creepy cluster, and that fish. Those are gonna be the main ingredients for the potion that we're gonna be making. Now, um, you do need to go ahead and get at least one article of clothing that says created potions are such and such more powerful. What I had in the previous video, or in the previous part of this video probably, um, I had a necklace that, um, when equipped, created potions were 20% more powerful. What I did is I disenchanted that, and then I enchanted, um, bracers, a helmet, a necklace, and a ring, all for created potions. And what you do is you equip all of those. Also, I went ahead and accidentally started this quest for this weapon and, well, staff, whatever. Um, I, it was accidental. I did not mean to do it, but I did it, and I'm sorry, because it was in the file that was recorded in 360, and I really, I, I forgot. But what you do is you take that one fish and salt, and it will make a potion which is Fortify Restoration, which means restoration spells are 51% stronger. And that's with all of your um, equipment equipped. But what you do is you go into, and I went ahead and favorited everything, that way it would be easy to find. Unequip it, go to your potions, take the potion, go back to your favorites, put it all back on, and you've got to kind of hurry through this because it wears off in 60 game seconds. So you go to restoration and you do it again. You make another one. See, now it says 87% stronger. You quit, you take off everything, go to your potions, drink the potion, go back up to your favorites, equip everything, and you just repeat this over and over again until you get to a certain, um, whatever level you want to. You don't want it to be so big of a level that it breaks the game, because it seems like this, um, the re- it's not really a remake, but it's the remastered version. Um, it seems like since it's newer, it's breaking a little bit easier. So you don't really need that strong of a potion. But you can do this. I, re I recommend somewhere around... Like, you, you would need maybe like 15 to 18 fish and salt pile. Um... Because then you're going to want to make uh, fortify enchanting potions. And that's what the claws are for. That's for the, what the snowberries are for. Um, and I'll get to that later. But then you can, after you get that enchanting, you can go and enchant something for alchemy to be even stronger. Because you've, enchant you've got the enchanting potion. It's kind of confusing, but it's really easy at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it, but... You can just watch this. I do this over and over again. I'll go ahead and show you the whole process that I took and where I actually stopped. Because I just wanted to make sure it didn't break. Because I, everything was going so well this time. Everything was being recorded exactly the way I wanted it to. And yes, I'm low on gold right now. And that's because um, I did go ahead and buy like a lot of fish. I stood there and spammed her for fish. <laughs> Um, I would buy all the fish from her, quick save, kill her, and then bring it back up and she would have new stuff like I have been doing. Um, also, whenever you get into the higher level stuff here, the higher the potion goes, um, the more, the quicker your alchemy is going to level up. And before you know it, you're going to have like super high level alchemy. And it's really awesome. Because you're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. You're getting super strong, and then you're leveling up alchemy. So, in my opinion, it's worth, worth it. And I also suggest, before you start doing this, go ahead and save 
I would save like a whole new file. Just in case it does crash the game and you have to start over. I cannot tell you how many times I did that. It would crash the game. It would be like, no, no, you're, you're too good now. Stop. You gotta stop. And so I do suggest you go ahead and quick save, at least quick save, or save to a new um, file. Okay, and now since we are kind of leveled up, because look at that, restoration spells are um, 13,029. Um, I went ahead and made a lot of them, and notice that my, my alchemy is going up a lot. Right now it's at 49, it'll keep going up for a little while, so just- oh, oh, nope, okay, I quit. Um, it'll go up whenever I start doing the fortify enchanting. So just pick one of these. Um, and I know they're all different because that one's 12,000 <laughs> 12, and then there's one for 13,000. I don't know why. But then uh, re-equipped all of your stuff. And now we're going to do... Um, nope, apparently we're going to do one more. Okay, I'm sorry. I recorded this late last night and then I was going to do the voiceover today. Sorry. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Now, go ahead and quick save because it didn't it didn't break the game. Now, you go to items. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and unequip everything. Go to your potions, take one of the potions. We're going to start out with a small one and then re-equip all the stuff. Go to the alchemy table, go to ingredients. You want to go do blue butterfly wing and uh, snowberries. And that is going to be your enchanting, and apparently I just felt like going ahead and making a ton of them. But you can also do snowberries and the Hagraven Claw. I don't know how you say that properly, but that's the best I can do. But go ahead and make several of those. And then, um, I just went ahead and done blister wart. If it, uh, well, I guess I didn't. Yeah, blister wart and, uh, wheat. And that will go ahead and help increase your alchemy just that much more plus it's a mean health potion like it was pretty good but you can see my alchemy goes from 68 to let's see where it stopped i forgot where it stopped seems like it was like 89 we're about to see Sometimes it goes up by one, and then sometimes it'll go ahead and skip over by three, and most of the time it skips by twos. Okay, so 90... 91, 92, and that's where it stopped, was at 92. I got to level 92 in, like, not even five minutes. So that's pretty good in my opinion. I know it says up in the corner that I'm a level 12, and that's because I need to level up. I need to just go into my menu and level up. But now, um... What we're going to do is go up to, up here in the castle, there's a wizard, and he'll help you. He has gems to sell, not gems. Yeah, gems, okay. He's got gems to sell, and he's got stuff to sell, and he's got a alchemy thing, and then an enchanting table. And apparently my recording messed up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so my recording kind of stopped apparently and it didn't warn me, 
what I did was I enchanted a necklace for sneaking, a hide bracers for um, bows do more damage, um, bracers for weapons and armor can be improved, created potions, see look at um, 825, created potions, that's just for later if I ever want to make potions again. Uh, carry weight for boots. And then the armor, I always like for it to have health. Um, so that I have, um, altogether, a sneak necklace, a, um, bows do more damage bracers, carry weight boots, and, um, the ring is for magic. I don't know if you've seen that. I forgot to mention that. But the ring, it increases my magic. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. And I'm sorry it was kind of a longer episode this time. Why was this guy in my shot? Go away. <laughs> um, I'm sorry it was a longer episode this time. But I just wanted to let you know that this is how I used to start out the game. Back when I had it for 360. This is um, PlayStation 4 version. But um, this is how I played it for 360, and I love this game. And right now I'm going up here. I'm going to go see if Farkas is out here. We're going to check on Farkas. He's okay. He's not here. Oh, well. I'll see you one day, my love. <laughs> All right. Well, I will catch you guys later in the next episode. Bye.